which is Saturday. And it's a little bit cloudy. I'm in a sweater, which it's not that cold out, but I feel chilly. So I'm just in, I'm in, I'm manifesting, you know, fall vibes. But anywho, um, I've got a few things to do today. So I'm probably going to make this one relatively quick. I have a brow waxing appointment today. I have a, um, going to meet family for brunch. So we've got different things we have to get done today. And then of course the usual stuff you'd cram in on a weekend because, you know, we have those whopping two days to get things done. So yay, fun times. Um, here is the results of the manicure. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look that bad, but I actually, I broke this nail. What else did I do? What other nail? Yeah, I broke this nail and then I trimmed down some of the nails because in anticipation that if this one's breaking, that means more are to come and they've gotten to be a little bit too long in the grand scheme of things. So we'll see what happens. Um, so I mentioned I'm going to get my eyebrows waxed. I've been starting to go to uh, the European Wax Center. They gave me all of these little packets and things. So I bought a pass there and I go once a month. So I had to laugh because um, the technician gave like she shamed me and said that I was having an issue with um, my growth right here and right here. She like you've over plaque and I'm like going, I have, I, I am, I'm, l let me be blunt. I'm a hairy gal. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I haven't. I'm totally fine. I've got, these things grow in, they're, they're monstrous. They grow in like nothing, but apparently she wants me to grow in right here and then out here. So she shamed me into buying this, I guess, what is it? Like hair for hair club for men, whatever. Um, Rogaine <laughs> stuff to, that you put in to make this stuff grow. Um, and so I got it last month and I've been using it to try to get it to grow and it, nothing's happening. And I'm, I honestly, I'll, I'll be blunt. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of, of bushy brows. I, I mean, I, I didn't go like to a complete, like a line in the nineties, like some folks did, but I like a nice thin arch and I'm, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with the, the method that she's going for but you know I'm I'm usually really easy going I'm just like what uh, just rip them off <laughs> when, when I just had to laugh because I felt like okay whatever so she I bought this I had to buy a brow pencil I had to do all that I'm like I don't usually do any of this I don't go that hardcore into making sure they look pristine. I'm like, I've got dark hair. They just kind of do what they do. But I just thought it was a funny, a funny little side note about, about that. But, um, but other than that, the weeks go a little bit better. Shout out to 1-800-CONTACTS for pulling out a miracle for me since I can't get in to see my, um, eye doctor for God knows when. Um, but yeah, you can do like this online with your phone eye exam with an eye doctor and they'll hook you up with contacts like nothing's so already got them. Got the eye exam taken care of. I got the contacts already shipped in. So I am good to go. They, you know, they want you to go in and get an actual eye exam. And I have one scheduled like in three months, but um, I was able to go in and get my diabetic exam done, which is like a they take pictures of your eye and make sure that everything is doing okay. And of course, you know, I'm of a certain age, so things are not perfect, but my prescription hasn't changed. Nothing that's affecting that aspect of it. So they're fine with how I got um, the prescription refilled. So I'm good to go as far as being able to see. And that was great. That made my life feel a lot better. So I'm really excited about that, that aspect at least. So... Um, I'll get the, the usual stuff taken care of. I think I have an idea for the bag of the week, maybe be bags of the week because of the week ahead. So I will talk about that when we get over to that side of the room and we'll see, let's see what the rest of Saturday brings. So 
Okay, so this was the tray of the week. And I have to say, um, I was moderately successful. I didn't, I just forgot to put this one on. I don't know why I thought I had already used it, but for some reason I just bypassed it. So um, slight fail. I might leave it out for uh, this week again, but um, I just <laughs> passed by. So I ended up wearing um, this one twice, this one twice, this one once, that one once. So two, four, five, six. I must have worn... I must have worn this one twice too, because I don't know, I don't think I wore this one twice, or three times, excuse me, because I know I bypassed this one. Anywho, whatever. What I didn't wear more than once was Oud Ispahan. Um, I did not mind this fragrance. I don't love this fragrance, so I will have absolutely no need to ever buy this fragrance. I have I think I mentioned I have two um, small bottles and then, um, no, three small bottles like this. So, and they regularly give it away as a freebie. So if I ever run out of it, I will be able to acquire another one for sure. So it's not unpleasant. Um, I'm very heavy handed with my fragrances. So I mistakenly just sprayed like the Dickens, like I normally do. Um, and it was just a lot. Um, so very overwhelming, uh, the oud is very, very um, overwhelming and, of course, just kind of, like, drowned me at first. The dry down is fine. The, the end of the day, fine. Was not unpleasant. Just not anything that I'm, I love. So it's a fine fragrance. It's just not my cup of tea. It's not a gourmand in any way, shape, or form. It's definitely a floral. Um, it's just not the type of fragrance I would wear on a regular basis. I'll probably bring it out more, um, again, during the fall winter time, it is a little too heavy for this time of year. And that's probably why it struck me as so strong. But again, I don't see the need to purchase it, um, in a full size in any way, shape or form. So, um, but it's still pleasant though. Uh, go to love it, love it, love it. I just need to figure out if I'm going to use it again. Um, use this one this week or not, or just try again in a few weeks. So let me grab some other fragrances. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to leave this one on the tray to try to actually use it. I will have my typical A Vanilla on there, Skylar Vanilla Sky. Um, wanted to try to utilize a Jo Malone fragrance. I, I think I've only ever just tried a test of and not actually worn. So, uh, Nectarine Blossom and Honey. I want to try that one out. Kind of similar to Oud, um, Ispahan. I have several bottles of Eden Rock. Um, so I'm going to throw that into an atomizer and just give it a real college try, I guess. Um, check that one out. And because of the nectarine, that's kind of threw me in the citrusy, fruity, floral realm. So this grapefruit to me sounded very luscious, very summery, very fun. So that is this week's tray. If you're looking for Jo Malone fragrances, the sampler set still at Nordstrom, still at the sale price. Well, the set price that they had for Nordstrom anniversary sale. Uh, Skylar, this one's not there, but there are several Skylar fragrances on Costco.com. So if you want to try this brand, you can get them at a discount. Um, yeah, so that's the tray of the week. Okay, so we went with this lovely green here for the teal color with this topper last week and it resulted in that so i'm actually going to go with this color changing one from the special range um so this is simply chaotic i believe if i remember correctly it starts out purple and then turns teal so kind of similar color and it because i I run kind of warm. 
um, it's going to stay mostly teal. So not, not too different, but I will insert a picture when I'm done. Okay, folks. So this was the bag of the week. And as you know, I went, um, out shopping with my niece. Um, so that was very successful and carried everything I needed to carry for the week. This week, however, I have, I'm getting everything out. I have to go into my office a couple of times um, for a number of appointments. So with that, I think I'm actually going to need to use two bags um, because I don't necessarily, what is that? Oh, my late niece gave me this little duck. All I saw was that. And I'm like, do I have a giant pill in there? What the heck's going on? Isn't that cute? Anyway, um, that's sweet. Clear that out. Um, so anyway, that's going to go back on the shelf. But because I need to go into the office, I need to have a big ass bag this week. And... The big ass bag needs to be able to carry my laptop. I don't want to carry my Neverfull this week though. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with what I had initially wanted to carry last week, which was the Reed Creek Off uniform bag. That should fit the um, items I need. But my midweek video this last week was about crossbodies or things I grab in a pinch. And because I need to go to brunch tomorrow as well. I don't necessarily need to carry all of this with me to brunch. So I'm thinking about grabbing one of my walks for that purpose. And then I can carry that and put that in the uniform bag. And then we're all um, ready to go. But then if I did choose to carry the Neverfull, I could still carry the Neverfull. The walk could go in there and I'd still be good to go. Um, so it'd be a good all purpose. Um, process. So let me go grab that and I will be right back. Okay, so I wanted to illustrate my point. Um, so I'm getting my walk loaded up, which I did. Um, so it has my keys in there, my normal keys, an abundant sufficiency of cash. My phone would go in here, but I'm filming on it right now, um, to run around locally. But on work day, this would all go in here. And then I have my work computer, which is my giant Windows laptop in here with all of my other, let's see if I do it this way. All of my other crap is in here and there's still a ton of room. Um, I don't even have the pockets filled up at all. I just have my AirPods hanging off of that. Um, I don't have anything in the outside pockets, so it's got plenty of room to go to work and do, do the things, so to speak, but then I can leave it at my desk, hook up to a dock, and then run out with just this one around the office lunchroom, or if I even wanted to just run out in the car to go grab lunch, um, you know, take the, the wallet on chain and run around, leave this under my desk and not care about, um, you know, it's just the things we're in a secured area. So I'm not worried about it walking off, but you know, even if it did, it, they take my computer and that would be a, a more, a bigger problem with the security of the building than, <laughs> than the security of the, the bag. So, um, that is the plan for the week. Uniform bag from Reed Krakoff, the YSL Cassandra wallet on chain. These arrived and I'm dying. I ordered these for pickles. She's got her Chewy Vuitton Espresso chew toy. She's got her Chanel, I think it's a Kelly. <laughs> Anyway, her camellia, her camellia chew toy bag. And then it's her bargain. 
She got a Birkin before I did. With her Twilly and everything. Isn't that fun? It's from Chic Doggy. Hot diggity dogs. I'm gonna have to do like a Instagram post with that, but I think it's precious. What do you think, Mama? I got you a new toy. What do you think? Are you an influencer? You guys, you guys influencers with your Chanel bags? Dolly could care less. I just woke them up, so they're not, they're not as excited. You got your own designer bags. They don't care. Say hi to your fans, mamas. <laughs> I love you. Okay, we're wrapping up. Well, my um, appointment got uh, moved to tomorrow, so I will deal with that tomorrow. That's fine, but I have painted my nails, and it's quite lusciously dark. Um, I think you can kind of tell the the green will be coming up. <sighs> if I do that, maybe they'll <sighs> maybe they'll lighten up. But I'm intrigued to see um, how that will how that will show up over the course of the week as it possibly gets warmer. There's really pretty sparkles in it. Yeah, you can see right there. So it's just a really pretty, pretty color. And this is a pretty, I did some thick layers in there. But anyway, I'm, it's a fun, fun tone. So I'm excited to wear that. So I hope everybody has a great week. Um, I'm going to be blunt. I've done way too much bag shopping. I just yesterday picked up um, a bag. I'm probably going to unbox for this week's video. I, I probably should stop um, shopping for the rest of the year. <laughs> I counted up. I think I bought 15 bags. Granted, they're mostly secondhand, like retro bags. So not, you know, it's not a like huge outlay of money, but that's a lot of bags to, to bring in and I need to redo my storage and everything. So I think this has been great cycling through things, but I'm, I need to figure out something. And I, I don't do vlog sales. I don't usually sell my bags. I usually just either give them to someone or um, donate them, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Anywho, we'll chat about it, but I will be back next week. I'll let you know how the two bags, um, worked out for this week and we'll see what this next week brings us. So thanks for coming along with me as usual. I will see you next week. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Thank you.